Now we're going to apply materials to our objects. Materials give props colors and textures. They are found in the Materials section of the library. Click on the icon that looks like an artist's palette. Choose Poser Debut, Content, Basic Materials. We're going to color the Studio Backdrop first, so select Studio Backdrop in the Parameters drop-down window. Materials are applied to whatever you have selected in the Parameters window. Open the Brick and Tile folder and scroll down. I'm going to choose Concrete Wall and I'm actually going to apply it to the floor. So double click on the material to apply it and then choose from the drop down menu what you would like to apply it to. I'm going to choose the floor and click OK. You won't see the full change at first because we have not rendered the project yet. Stick around as we apply all our materials and then we'll render the project and you'll be able to see how it really looks. Next, let's apply the stucco material to the backdrop. Double click stucco and choose backdrop from the drop down menu. Click OK. Again, this isn't, this isn't what it's going to really look like. We will see the actual results after we render the project. Now choose stairs from the parameter drop down window. For the stairs material, let's choose clothes, suede. Preview means the material will be applied to the whole object, not just part of it. So just click OK. Now we'll choose the teapot from the parameters menu. Open the glass folder and double click frosted glass. Apply it to the teapot and click OK. Now scroll down, open the jewels folder and Double click Metal Gold. From the drop down menu, choose Lid and click OK. Now that we've used materials to color and texture all of our props, we can render the project and export it as an image in our next lesson.